All new at 11 o'clock tonight, Jews around the world are observing the lives lost and heroism during the Holocaust between 1933 and 1945. It's called Yom Hashoah, and tonight, one of those remembrances here in central Indiana. Our TV6 reporter Chris Prophet was there, joins us live tonight outside of our Monument Circle studios. Chris? Andrew, this is Israel's day of commemoration for the six million Jews killed during the Holocaust and tonight. It was a personal remembrance and a painful period in history. At Carmel's congregation Sharei Tefillah, a Holocaust memorial service from children giving testimony in the deaths of grandparents to the elderly survivors who remember everything. Now 88, Alex Starr lost 200 family members. What my nine years old sister could do to anybody, so, and my 80 years old grandparents. Now 90, at 14, Meyer Bronicki escaped from Nazi labor camps where he lost his brother and father. Got up in the morning and I could see the whole camp is surrounded with Nazis. And they came to kill us. The memorial service comes on the eve of the Holocaust Remembrance Day, honoring the six million Jews murdered during World War II by Nazi Germany under the direction of Adolf Hitler. We ask that you give us the strength to fight against evil in the world, to ensure that never again is no mere slogan but words that guide our lives. Jewish leaders are using the remembrance to call on Jews around the world and for all people to fight anti-Semitism. Hatred exists, anti-Semitism, racism exists. These are forces that we have to constantly be vigilant about and try to stamp out whenever possible. Prayers tonight that history never repeats itself and for its millions of victims. Holocaust Remembrance Day ends tomorrow evening and it is being commemorated all across the country tonight and tomorrow. Reporting live downtown, Chris Prophet, RTV6.